<laughs> Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and these are the LP6 from Cali Audio, also known as the Lone Pines. And these are the second wave. So can't wait to show you them. Cheers. So the LP6 and its bigger, well, you might say brethren, the LP8s, have been, well, lauded as one of the most affordable studio monitors out there. And I want to show you in this video why that is the case. So in full transparency, I do have to tell you that Cali Audio sent me these for review, and I'll show you and tell you a bit more about how I worked with these for the last couple of months, specifically in my modular rack. So I've had these uh, not connected to my uh, to my laptop. I haven't connected these to my uh, to my audio system all that much. But what I did do is I connected these directly to my uh, to my modular rig, and that's also where I connect a lot of my synthesizers to because that is the main use case for me for having these. So. Um, how will I compare them? And I'll probably compare them mostly to the um, KRK Classic line uh, from, a, from a pricing perspective, but I'll also have some thoughts on how these compare to some of the um, more classically known names like Janelec or maybe even some of the others out there. So of course my well, exposure to studio monitors has been limited. Uh, but I can already leave, let you in on a little secret, and that is that these have blown me away, especially if you consider the price for them. So I will recommend everyone to just have a quick look at the affiliate links down below to figure out what these would cost in your uh, local currency. And I think you'll be, um, well, surprised, amazed, and hopefully even, um, well, considering picking a set of these up because they are absolutely phenomenal. Well, that being said, I'd like to make sure that we can just dive in. So I would say, uh, here we go. So let's have a quick and closer look at the LP6 second wave from Cali Audio. Um, for those of you who've had a look at the first wave, you won't see that many, well, differences uh, from the outlook. Uh, the one thing is to point out is that the actual six and a half inch woofer has been redesigned from the ground up and actually made sure that the actual uh, woofer itself was reduced in weight. And that's gonna make it much more responsive and that's gonna make sure that you, you'll you get a lot more clarity in those lower notes uh, there whatsoever. Um, other than that, the build quality, these are sturdy boys. Um, when I received these, uh, and these were sent to me directly from uh, from California by Cali Audio, um, it has been an exceptional just pack. The packaging was phenomenal. No thing, any way, shape, or form in re in relationship to, to 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 any sort of damage. And I was immediately impressed, but with how professional they felt. So the the woodwork on the site and the top is phenomenal. The Even the plastic on the front end has a very premium feel to it. The whole bass boost here, it made sense to have it like that. And then just the overall look and feel. Well, of course, there's no accounting for taste, but I feel that they really hit the nail on the head with that. Uh, the one thing that it did ship with is, of course, the quick start guide. And especially for people like me, this is really important to make sure that you understand, okay, well, how should you position your uh, studio monitors? How do you place them uh, right side up, upside down, or sideways? And as you can see in the Lone Pine ones, it is recommended to keep them upright or on, or, well, <laughs> or if you just flip them, and then you've got your positioning there as well. So again, the actual distance between, well, yourself and these uh, these speakers will of course well, depend on which ones you get. So in the case of the LP6s, they do recommend to do that between one and 1 1.2 meters. And that should also be the lines there as well. So 
that being said, pretty straightforward. The one thing you then get is, of course, this whole diagram on, hey, how do you then want to position your monitor speakers in your in your rig? So currently I've got the one and third up, which in in my case, make sure that we've got them on that stack or on a desk, but with enough room, but not too much room from the uh, from the from from the walls there. So again, this is how easy it is to then position those. And this has made positioning that much easier for me as a pretty well, beginner to these sort of things. So let's just have a quick look at the IO here. So you've got unbalanced RCA in, you've got a balanced uh, TRS in, balanced uh, XLR, you've got your, well, your volume uh, offset, and you've got your well, typical three point power in with a power switch. The one thing I like is because I typically want to make sure that I turn off my monitors when I stop making music is that this knob is very easy to reach if you just want to go behind the, mod, uh, the, the actual speaker and just turn them off. So this is on, in that regard, very easy. Of course, if I was a demanding man, I would typically say, well, put them right here or right there in any of the corners. But then again, putting them in the middle it's quite easy to find. That's what it is. Other than that, there is nothing to complain about. And if we then have a quick listen to what these tremendous bang for buck speakers can do, is that these are well a perfect upgrade from the first version. So what did Kali achieve with uh, this second wave? On the one hand, it has lowered the actual noise floor. I believe it's even as much as 12 dB. So even if you have these powered on and you're, lo and you're really trying to listen into your ambient patch that you just created and you're quite close to the monitors, the actual noise you're gonna hear has will have been reduced by quite a significant amount. Um, the other thing that they've changed is of course, is indeed that uh, that woofer, the uh, 6.5 inch, I already talked about that, and they did improve the DSP. So still, the, the crossover between these two is around 1500 uh, hertz, uh, but the actual overhead and the actual flow over uh, will be much better. So if I can then throw in my personal expert, well, my personal experience with these is I can recommend these to anyone and if I then compare these to let's say um, the PMC result sixes which are probably like priced at six times the price for one of these um, yeah of course that's going to be an unfair fight but if I then compare these to let's say uh, the Genelec um, 8030Cs or even to the uh, KRK um, the KRK line, whether you use the classic ones or the one with the DSP in it, these will give them a run for their money. And what I truly love is that even though these are extremely smooth, that the whole lineup is extremely smooth. So this, these are great for getting your synthesizer sounds dialed in just right, making sure that your patches sound absolutely crystal clear but at the same time, they do get that um, enjoyable oomph to it. So they, they do not lack in any shape, way or form uh, from actually enjoying your music. So I've heard studio speakers that are just too tinny, you might, you might say, but these are right there where they can truly say, okay, well, you have the absolute crystal clear understanding of what the music is you want to make, but at the same time, you can truly also enjoy it. And I think that that's a great well combination to have if you are uh, in, a modular, uh, in, a, in a modular setup or if you're working with multiple synthesizers, because at the end of the day, we're all there to make music that we enjoy and that we love. And studio speakers would be there to make sure that we can also make sure that others will be able to enjoy and love that music as well. Uh, but the one should not bite the other, if you ask me. So that being said, let's go back to the studio and let's wrap this up. 
for now these are the LP6s from Cali and uh, let's talk to you in a bit so I truly hope you enjoyed this video on the LP6 from uh, Cali Audio whom I have to thank again for providing me with these two units for testing I promised to compare these to some of the studio monitors I've had the chance to review up until now so the first monitors I used were the the PMC result sixes those were of course completely out of the out of this league and I think that even one of the result sixes uh, would cost more than um, even um, well, <laughs> a couple of these at the same time so that's not a fair fight to have but where I do want to position these is against uh, monitors like the Genelex or even the the pricier uh, KRK ones I think that these currently blow the KRK classics out of the, out of the line I haven't had a uh, listen to the uh, the KRK row kits yet but my expectation currently is is that these hold very well against the row kits uh, but I'll know for certain when I've got my hands on a set of row kits uh, with the same size of course because um, even though I said well the, the result sixes were quite even were of course from a sizing perspective quite evenly matched but not from a pricing perspective the uh, Genelex, the 8030Cs that I've had in my hands uh, were from a sizing perspective quite similar even though the uh, the woofer was uh, significantly smaller and I, I'm really interested to get these against let's say a KRK Rokit 7 or KRK Rokit 5 even um, but I'll just need to get my hands on those and then I'll let you know ASAP. If you then compare these to well, the um, the Mackies that I've reviewed, those were of course again a, a a significant drop in price point. I think that the whole Mackie set that I reviewed uh, cost as much as one of these. And then to keep in mind that the Mackie set also provided Bluetooth functionality, uh, which these of course don't offer, as these are regular powered monitor speakers without any sort of inter interfacing except the two well balanced inputs and one unbalanced input so then the question becomes is do i recommend these oh yeah absolutely without any doubt if you are looking for studio monitors um, i would strongly recommend to at least consider picking up these or if your studio is a bit bigger uh, the lp8s i haven't had a look at into the uh, in series yet but I'll uh, work with uh, Kali Audio to see if we can uh, make sure to feature those as well. So why do I think that these are exceptionally well positioned for, uh, for modular musicians and um, well, synthesists in general? And that is because of the, the sound quality that this brings. It doesn't have the, the drop off in the lower frequencies that you might sometimes see in other studio monitors. This is extremely flat, but still offers enough excitement for me to keep on playing. So this does uh, challenge me to keep on improving, um, where so certain studio monitors, and of course that's what studio monitors need to do, they just offer, the, offer you that clarity, but these also uh, offer you that, um, that engagement, the, the energy that you need to get out of music and don't get me wrong I've heard things coming out of this set that I've never ever uh, before heard coming out of my modular rig so the clarity that these offer especially given the upgraded uh, 6.5 inch woofers is exceptional and it is something that I've probably want to hear a lot more of so again as I said pick these up you won't regret it uh, especially given the price and um, if you've got any other questions or any other comments uh, just drop them in the uh, comments down below for now we'll just say uh, Cali Audio thanks again for sponsoring this episode for everyone watching this thanks so much for your time hope that you are able to uh, stay safe stay healthy and I hope to see you for my next video cheers